Assalamualaikum dan salam sejahtera. The lesson for today is how to prepare the accounting equation table. As we know that asset equals to liabilities plus owner's equity. So, we look at the question. Rock Enterprise operate the business with providing the sole consultation service to the client. So, the transaction below incurred for the month of January 2020. So, if we look at the transaction, there are seven transactions of January. The 1st of January, the owner invests 1,000 ringgit cash into the business. 5th of January, Rock Enterprise borrow from the bank with the amount of 20,000 ringgit. 15. Purchase furniture, 2,000 ringgit on credit from furniture trading. 17. The owner withdrew cash for his personal use. 120 ringgit. 25th. The owner brought in all van value at 12,000 ringgit into the business. 27. Received cash of 1,500 ringgit for the services provided. And 28. Paid salaries to employees. 1,800 ringgit with cash. So, you are required first to prepare the accounting equation table and B, the effect of assets, liabilities and owner's equity. So, we look at the accounting equation table. The 1st of January, we look at the, the owner invest 1,000 cash into the business. It means that the company, the enterprise will increase the cash uh, with the asset at 1,000. So we have to record increase 1,000 for cash and at the same time the owner's equity will increase with the same amount. So we have to plus 1,000 in asset and at the same time, the owner's equity will increase. The 5th of January, Rock Enterprise borrowed from the bank with the amount of 20,000. So it means that the asset in the company or in the enterprise will increase with the amount of 20,000. So we record with the amount of 20,000 and at the same time, our liabilities or the enterprise liability will increase with the amount of 20,000. When we make loan from the bank, it means that our obligation will increase. So we must record the amount for liabilities 20,000. So, you can see that it equals to 1,000 for asset will be equals to 1,000 for owner's equity. And the 5th of January, 20,000 for asset increase equals to 20,000 for liability. And for 15 January, the enterprise pays furniture. Furniture should be categorized as asset. So, it will increase the amount of asset with 2,000 and on credit. On credit, that means the obligation or the liabilities of the company will increase with the same amount, 2,000. So, you can see that the asset equals to liability. 17 January, the owner withdrew cash for his personal use. So, when the owner withdrew cash, it will reduce the cash in the company. So, we write down, uh, we reduce 120 and at the same time, withdrew or drawing will reduce the owner's equity with the same amount. 
So we just click on 120. So you can see that the asset reduced and at the same time, the owner's equity will reduce. 25th of January, the owner brought in all when valued RM20,000 into the business. It means that the owner brought the asset into the company or into the enterprise. So it will increase the asset in the enterprise with the amount of 12,000. So give the symbol 12,000 because it will increase the property of the company and at the same time it will increase the capital or the contribution of owners to the enterprise with the same amount so it will balance asset equals to owners equity on 27th of January, the enterprise received cash of 1,000 for services provided. It means that there is there will be increase in asset and service provided can be categorized as revenue or service revenue. So it means that the asset of the enterprise will increase with the amount of um, 1,500 and at the same time the service revenue will increase the owner's equity with the same amount 1,500 and the last one Eight salaries to employee with the amount of 1,800 cash. It means that the enterprise will pay to employees. That one is the payment. So the payment will reduce the asset in the enterprise. So we deduct or reduce the amount with 800 and at the same time, we paid salaries. Salaries categorized as expenses. And expenses will reduce, will decrease the owner's equity. So we must record with the same amount, 1,800. Now, we have recorded all the transactions in the accounting equation table. Now, what should you do? You have to add all the assets from January, 1st of January until 28th of January. So you can see the total. So now, when we calculate the total, you can see that the amount for asset uh, are 34,500. And 80, and the total for liabilities should be 22,000. And for owner's equity, you will get the amount with the amount 12,500. 12,500 and 80. So you can see that 22,000 plus 12,580, then you will get this total amount, 34,580. So the conclusion is the asset, the total asset are 34,580 equals to the total liabilities plus owner's equity. So you can see the accounting equation should be balanced. Now, we can make an analysis by, by looking the effect of asset, liabilities and owner equity in the sentences. So the sentences should be applied.
appeared like this cake. 1st of January, you can see that there is increase in asset. So we record increase in asset and increase in owner's equity. So you can see increase with the symbol of plus. This one too, symbol of plus. So the amount will increase. 5th of January, you can see that uh, the amount of asset is increased 20,000 and at the same time it will increase liability 20,000. 15th of January, increase in asset and at the same time it will increase in liability. The 17th, this one, we, uh, the owner will do cash. So, it will decrease in asset and at the same time, it will decrease in owner's equity. On 25th, you can see from here, it will increase in asset and at the same time, it will increase in owner's equity. 27, it will 27, uh, we have to, okay, 27, look at the 27, increase in asset and increase in asset and at the same time, with it will increase in owner's equity. That's, yes, that is correct. 28, okay, this one correct. Okay, look at uh, the date of 28. About uh, just now, about 28 is about paid salaries. Okay, so when we make a payment to employees, it will reduce our cash in the company, so decrease in asset, and at the same time, there is uh, expenses and it will decrease the owner's equity. So, so today's lesson is about accounting equation. We have to prepare the accounting equation table for calculation and at the same time, we can prepare the analysis in the sentences. That's all for today. Thank you.